So this is actually going to be the start of something new. A lot of the vintage board games that I buy, I end up buying sealed. So as you can see, uh, this is Looney Tunes Smush'em, uh, and it is completely sealed. In fact, this game came out in 1993. Uh, it is a Play-Doh game, so I'm curious to see how the Play-Doh is still in the game. So let's take a look here. So let's first break the seal. Yes, I am not one of those people that likes collecting games that are sealed because I actually play these games. Um, nostalgia, and eat it. I just want to play it and smush it in this case. So let's take a look here. Such a unique. Ah, I always flip the box because I think the instructions might be in there because a lot of the classic games have it. Ooh. Wow. Brand new. That is. Oh, it's got like the stickers for the characters there. Because what happens is you get like these heads that um, stick out of the Play Doh body. So the bodies in this game are Play Doh. I'll be doing a review of this uh, real soon. Um, but I'm a fan. Uh, this is cool. It's like a Yosemite Sam. We got the Martians. Ooh, sorry, it looks like some dice came out. It's like all a bunch of stuff packed in here. I'll kind of throw down the center and tip this over. There's some dice that fell. Some pieces there. Looks like we got some aliens. Looks like they might have something to do with Marvin Martian, who is actually popped out by itself. Obviously, it's an old game, so. It popping out doesn't surprise me. That's super cool. Initially, I was going to get this game used, but like they were missing the Martians, some Martians, and I'm like, you know what? I could scan them and re kind of do them, but it was just cheaper for me to get this, to be completely honest with you. It didn't cost me much more. I got a pretty good deal on this one. I think I got this one for 28, almost 30 bucks, not quite 30. Got it shipped from overseas. These are kind of the molds for the individual's body. But it's an unboxing, so let's open everything. You can kind of see. That's super cool. I can't wait to actually get this to the table. Sweet. Um, these look like the little stand slash picks that um, the faces go into and that stick into the Play-Doh to keep them sturdy. That makes entire sense here. Um, I'm going to leave these in here. I'll bring it close so you guys can see it if you're interested. Um, but it's really just picks for them to come in. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to be playing this soon, so I don't want to mess too much up. But the Play-Doh moment of truth, guys. This is never been opened. 1993. Ooh, I've seen some gross Play-Doh from the original game, so let's take a look here. Wow. All right, I'm going to be the weirdo and smell it, so let me be that guy. Wow, it smells almost like a food kind of clay, which is weird. Look at that. Sorry, I'm like smelling my hand because it's just weird that this is... It, it's like you can actually kind of see residue coming on. If Play-Doh could be expired, it would definitely be this. It, it's like, um, almost like gluey. It, it feels, yeah, it, it feels real like, I don't even know, like the moisture is just peeling off with it. It's kind of gross. It's almost like, um, the ins after you lick an envelope kind of feeling. Uh, that one did not make it. Ugh. That is gross. I knew there was a reason why we were checking all of them. I guess green is the only survivor thus far. Is blue a survivor? I'm gonna poke it. Yep, blue is kind of a survivor. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm going to replace this Play-Doh. Um, I have Play-Doh to replace it with. I just wanted to see. I'm a vintage collector, I'm not a weirdo. I'm not going to keep this Play-Doh. 
because yes, that is weird and it just grosses me out. Just the thought that this has been in here this long uh, just grosses me out. Even if it was like felt kind of all right, I don't think I would test it. Last thing I need to know, need to find out is uh, how long it takes to have Play-Doh um, get you sick because yeah, you were in contact with Play-Doh that was 15 years old plus. Um, yeah, actually, 26 years old. Jeez. Yeah, this is this is a cool one. I, I'm a big fan of this, guys. Uh, have you guys heard of this one? Uh, I'll be doing a review probably not long after I upload this video. Um, but I am a fan of Play-Doh games, and this has been the month of Play-Doh for sure. I'm really bad at reboxing, so just, yeah, here's how you rebox. Uh, done. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. If you guys do like these unboxings for these vintage games, because, again, I get almost a good majority of my vintage games do come sealed. Uh, like Curse of the Idol I had sealed, things like that. And I was getting them, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do some unboxings. I have a couple others that I've recorded, too. Um, but yeah, let me know. Is this the kind of stuff you guys enjoy? Uh, I'll consider doing unboxings for board games that are newer, but like, I'm not going to do one for a game that's been out for a while and it's just because I got it that I'm doing an unboxing. That seems silly. Vintage games I thought were a little more unique, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, uh, if you are interested in um, notifications for my new videos, there is a bell up there somewhere. These videos I'll just upload occasionally. There won't be a physical schedule because obviously... There's no way to work around that. I have a schedule already with three videos a week. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. Uh, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous and fun for everyone. Um, so again, all your feedback has been solid. I appreciate it. Um, but that is honestly all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.